welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a good day or night. I must just be really critical of myself today because I have tried filming this intro like five or six times now and it's absolutely ridiculous. So I just need to chill out because no one wants this to be perfect anyway. So just need to breathe. But anyway, as you can clearly tell from the title below, today I'm going to be comparing these two, nearly dropped it, these two contouring kits. This first one here is the Australis Contouring and Highlighting Kit and the second one is the model's Prefer Contour Collection. It has the same amount of colours and the colours are pretty similar so it's the perfect thing to compare. So the way that I'm going to compare these is to use this Australis one on this side of my face and then use the model's Prefer on this side of my face. Also, this is going to be the first Models Prefer product I've ever tried, so that's pretty exciting. So if I do seem to struggle with this at first, it could purely be based off the fact that I've never used it, and I have had a lot more time to try this out over like nine months. I've had this sitting in my room for like the past four months waiting to make this video. It has been so long since I've filmed a makeup related video. If you look back on my channel, I haven't filmed one, for 20 videos now, which is so unlike me. It's so weird. Now these are the boxes that they come in. I know people probably don't care what this packaging is like, but if you're like me and you tend to keep it, then maybe you do. I personally much prefer the model's preferred packaging. I think the font and the setup is a lot more pretty visually, and on the back it has instructions on how to use it, which is always really good. It's for each face shape too, which is awesome. This sort of lacks it, I have to admit. Another bonus that, that the models prefer has over the Australis is that nothing came in the Australis kit apart from the kit. But as I just realized, in the model's preferred kit, it comes with like an instruction manual that's really, really detailed. It has four sections, and the first one is what is my skin tone, what is my face shape, what if I want to highlight or contour certain areas? What is my skin type? Like, wow. I don't even think I've found stuff like this on the internet. Whoa, and it, look. <laughs> Honestly, this makes Australis look so bad. But keep in mind the Australis contour kit came out way before the models prefer one, so it meant that the models prefer one could have done the same, but better. So this is what they look like once you take them out of the packaging. I think they both actually look really, really nice. This one is matte black and the writing is in metallic pink and the model's preferred one is shiny black and the writing is in silver. Then when you turn them around they actually have a very similar back. So this is how the Australis makes up for the fact that the instructions aren't on the packaging. I guess models prefer is just being paranoid. It's like, what if you don't have this with you for some weird reason and you need another one or the other one? I don't really know. The Australis one is good because it focuses a lot more on exactly where you need to put the contouring and exactly where you need to put the highlighting, but it doesn't consider face shapes. This one doesn't actually tell you exactly where to put it, it just shows you, but it does tell you depending on your face shape. So they're both good in different ways. If some other new company comes out with one, they've got to do the best of both because that would be cool. These are the highlight shades. This one is pink, this one is a banana tone, and this one is a typical sparkly highlight. I began by first using this one because everyone was obsessed with the banana tone, but then I realized after time that this one actually suits me much more as I have a cooler skin tone. And then these are the contour shades below. This one is a bit more cool tone, so I usually stick to it. This one is a lot more warm toned and this one is in the middle. This was so hard to open and <laughs> I have no idea why. I'm thinking maybe because of the plastic layer that's in there, but I've never had that trouble with this, so that's at least a positive from this trial as well. When you open it up, it has a mirror, so go models prefer. On the plastic, which obviously you'll eventually throw away, it says highlight one, highlight two, highlight three, and the same with contouring down the bottom. Just by glancing at these, they look pretty damn similar to me. Some slight differences just at first sight is that this shade looks a little bit lighter than the other one and these contour shades look lighter too and that looks slightly more cool tone which is very exciting. Here's an actual side by side comparison for you guys for those of you who are interested in seeing exactly what the shades are like next to each other. Let's test it now if it's easy to open without the plastic. Oh my god it really isn't. That's hard compared to this one, look. <laughs> I don't know why, ooh, snot just came out. Ooh, attractive, very attractive. Does anyone else do that when they laugh sometimes? Like the tiniest bit of snot comes out and you just feel so ashamed. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna move on to putting these on my face. I'm kinda of worried that my hair is going to cover my face at any point during the video, so I'm just going to put this into 
a low ponytail. I don't think this suits me at all, but let's just focus on the contour instead. I'm first going to start with the Australis Contour Kit, and I'm gonna to have to use the mirror of the models prefer one. Lift your game, Australis. I'm going to be using this pink shade, as I know it suits me much more, and I'm going to be using my Real Techniques setting brush to apply it, as I usually do that. I find that this colour makes my under eyes look so much better. It almost conceals them in a weird way. It's so good. I'm also going to use it on my nose, which may sound a bit weird, but I always set foundation and conceal on my nose as it comes off really easily. You can probably tell. And this side of my chin feels really weird doing only one side. I'm going to take it down a little bit here just because I like it to give me a very highlighting effect. Hopefully, fingers crossed, the pink powder is good in the models prefer one because I don't want to have to repurchase this one as well. Okay, so I think that covered my under eyes quite well and highlighted them. I'm going to apply a little bit just on my forehead. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but this side of my face already looks so much better than that side. If I looked weird at all at the start of this video, it's because I always use stuff like this, so usually my face has it already. I'm going to use my Real Techniques fan brush, and I'm going to use this side here. It's been a while since I've used it, so I'm excited to see what it's like again. What's really nice, actually. How have I never noticed how glowy that is? Can you see that? Wow. Maybe I used it wrong the first time. I'm not sure, but it's working really well. You guys see that glow? Wait, I'll just move around a lot more. This looks ridiculous, but it's really good. I'm going to use a bit here on my cupid's bow. How am I going to do one side of my nose? <laughs> ah, I don't know. I'm just going to use my finger to take it under my eyebrow because I want it to be super intense. It's really nice for under there. You guys tell how glowy that is? Like, honestly, it looks so nice. I'll put my phone torch on it so you can see. Can you see that? It's really, really nice. I like it, like, a lot. I'm probably going to use this a whole lot because Obviously, I'm loving my The Balm one that I got recently, and it's amazing, but I would love this for more natural days. Very nice. I've had something in my eye for so long, and it's just irritating the crap out of me. Oh, it's because I have an eyelash on my eye. Idiot. This side of my face looks so much better than that side. It's ridiculous. It's so weird how much of a difference it makes. Now I'm going to be moving on to contouring, which is absolutely terrifying, and I'm going to use my Real Techniques sculpt sculpting, sculpting brush. And I'm going to use this cool tone here. One thing I know for sure about the Australis, and I've learned this so many times, is that you need the tiniest amount. You barely even have to touch it because it's that pigmented, which is good for things like eyeshadows. I'm sure this will be great as an eyeshadow, but for contouring, it's not really that good. I would much prefer one that isn't as pigmented so I can build up. It's a bit better than usual. Probably because I'm doing it in better lighting and honestly I'm trying a lot harder because I'm on camera. Why is everything working better than usual? Like this highlight never looks like this either. It's good right now, but I know for sure that in the past it comes out muddy very, very easily. And that may be from the fact that I'm using too much because it is so pigmented, but even so, it's frustrating. I don't want to have to like try really hard to like barely touch it. Anyway, I'm gonna use a bit more now because I just want to use everything intensely. See, like, this is how I usually start out, and I'm like, ah! I want to use everything as intensely as I can, just so I can have a really, really good comparison. This is the panic that I feel with these type of kits. That's why I prefer cream contouring kits, because, I don't know, you're covering it with powder afterwards, so it's easy to fix. I find that often, you can actually tell right now, hopefully you can tell, there's like a streak missing there. I find that randomly, sometimes it just doesn't stick to areas of my face, and like, that area isn't dry or oily or anything. And a lot of the time, I try to make up for that by like, Placing it right on top of that strip. Like right now I'm literally powdering it on top of it. Which seems absolutely ridiculous when I already have so much on my face. But oh my god, I'm wearing way too much right now. I really hope the models prefer one is better, because otherwise I'm just a failure at this kind of thing. Maybe this brush isn't good. I swear it used to be a lot better at contouring. This looks absolutely ridiculous. I need to just make it chill out. I guess that's okay. I think it's too thick. Though, I find that I easily make my contour thick. I don't know if it's because my face is small or what, but I'm going to move on to other parts of my face. So I'm going to use that same powder to do my, um, what the hell is this called? Jawbone. Again, it's just quite muddy. And I'm like, I'm trying so hard right now to buff it in. Like, I never, with any other product, have to try this desperately. Now I'm going to use a little bit around the perimeter of my face 
which seems like a bad idea. I do quite like the color of this though, it is quite cool toned. I'm also going to use a little bit of the banana shade underneath my eye, even though it doesn't suit me that much. I just want to be reminded of the quality. Yeah, it's how I remember it. It's so good. I actually love all three of these highlighting colors and honestly, considering this is the most cool toned, I can't even imagine what these would look like on me. It kind of scares me. So I'm trying to get a little bit of product out so I can be fair to the Models Prefer kit. It feels so scary using this right now. It's so nice. Anyway, I'm going to start by using the pink shade right here on this side of my face. So keep an eye on it compared to this one for me. seems to work very, very similar to the Australis one. I actually feel like I'm using the exact same product. I swear to God, this is the exact same powder. Like, it's doing the identical thing to the other side. It's so strange. I had to pick. This is probably just slightly nicer, but honestly, that could just be because I just put it on. This has been on my skin for a little bit. I think they're identical, which I am actually happy about because I really didn't want this one to be worse. So as long as they're identical quality, then it means I don't have to buy that one again. Unless this one turns out to be crap, you never know. The yellow one appears to be just as good as the other yellow one I used, but it does seem to be more yellow, which isn't that good for me, but if you wanted yellow, it will be amazing. And now I'm going to use my fan brush and I'm going to use the highlight shade. Okay, so there's that, and then there's that. It looks identical. This is so confusing. I think that the models prefer one may be very, very slightly lighter, but they're just as pigmented and they look pretty much the same. So now I'm going to be using the contour shades here and I'm going to be using this one as that one looks super cool toned, which is hopefully the most fluttering. I want to say the most fluttering, but this is seriously making me feel like maybe I shouldn't even be using cool tone. I don't really know. It already seems so much less pigmented. I just placed that down like this, and I'm not even kidding, if I did it with that one, it would have gone poof and it would have saturated the brush. So that's a really good sign. So if this side ends up looking better, it's also a big deal because I find this side of my face harder to do. So yes, oh my God, I'm already loving it. Even literally what I did just then is, <laughs> is like 10 times better than that. I, wow. Even just then, like I put a decent amount on, but it just blends. I'm actually so glad that I found this contour kit because I feel like I can contour now. Ah, I'm so happy. That was a really weird sound I just made. I'm also going to use it underneath here again. Already I can tell that it's just a bit easier. Look how much better that is compared to that. The fact that it's exactly the same palette shades in this but better contouring, amazing. I'm so happy about it. Ah. I'm also going to use the contouring shades all around outside of my face. It's perfect for this. Wow. It seriously just makes my face look thinner. Like, you wouldn't even think that's contouring. That is awesome. Do you know I should also try? I never contour my nose, but I should try contouring my nose just so that we can see. Okay, you ready? Something like that. I'll blend it out in a second. I did that weird, but whatever. It looks so wrong making my nose skinnier because it's already so slim. Even just looking at this, this is a better nose contour shade. Oh my god, ew, 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 I hate this side of my face so much. That one's nice, but that one's disgusting. Now that I'm done with trying these on, I'm gonna tell you the overall positives and negatives from each of these kits just so that you guys can make the final decision, even though it's really obvious that this one's much better. But packaging wise, it really depends on what look you're into, but this one is way harder to open. Like seriously, I'm gonna struggle. I nearly broke a nail. Like if I didn't have nails, I don't know how I'll do it to be honest. And this one opens like a dream. Oh yes. And the cream contour kit is the same. I really recommend the cream contouring kit. Jealous cream contouring kit with the Models Prefer powder would be amazing. The Models Prefer one is obviously better in some way because it has a mirror and all the highlighting shades, I would honestly say they're pretty much the same, just that the yellow one is a little more yellow. When you compare the contour shades, even if you're much more drawn to these colors, honestly, I would much more suggest you to try these anyway, just because the formula is so much better. Even the fact it comes with all this crap, seriously, that is 
amazing. Well done, Models Prefer. This is totally random, but I just remembered. Last time when I made the cream contour review video, my subscriber Jordan actually suggested I make a video on how to contour and highlight, and I did consider it for a while, but as you can tell from this video, I'm just really not confident with doing it. So I really do appreciate your suggestion, and I will remember it for the future in case I do suddenly figure out how the hell to do it. If you have any other suggestions for makeup related videos you'd like me to do, please let me know in the comments. I will consider them all, but as I said before, some things I'm just not confident with, so I apologize for that. So one more thing before I finish, this is officially the first video I filmed since I hit 1,000 subscribers, and I cannot even explain to you guys how happy it made me. I was completely alone that night, and I was just like tearing up like, ah! I'm so, so happy. So thank you so much to each and every one of you who has subscribed. And I'm pretty sure nearly 30 of you guys have subscribed since I hit a thousand. So, whoa. So thank you so much for that too. Welcome to the Show Bubble family. Never said that before, but I guess it sounds all right. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and comment below which one you personally prefer and why, if you've tried both of them. And also, are there any other products that you'd like me to compare? It would be great if I already have one myself, because obviously I don't want to dig out a huge amount of money, but I'm already thinking of comparing the Anastasia Dip Brow and the Chi Chi Brow Pomade. I'm thinking that will be a fun idea. What do you guys think? Anyway, I hope you're having a good day. Bye.